now we've got our photographs in, what we would like to do is we don't need any of this background, so we need to remove it. There are two main ways that you could do this. One is you could use the mask tool, or the other is that you could use the eraser. So I'll demonstrate both. So using the mask tool, I've got my photograph here. This is the one that I've picked. I'm going to use my mask. We can't use an automatic mask on the photograph, so we're going to choose a freehand mask. Let's zoom in with our fingers to make life easier. And this doesn't need to be super accurate. I'm actually going to do my mask just outside my object. You can do dot to dot, like I'm doing here, or if you wish, you can draw your mask in freehand. And at any point you can move, again, do dot to dot like this. For straighter lines, this makes life a lot easier. Okay, go back to your beginning point, you create your mask. Then if we choose invert from the bottom toolbar here, then we use three finger drag down and we choose cut. That removes all of the background and just leaves us with our image. Now we've got our cropped image, we can still move it anywhere we want and we can resize. So that's method one. Method two is using the eraser tool. So I'm going to select my other image up here. This time I'm going to use the eraser tool. Now you might want to think what kind of eraser you're going to use. Something like a, an airbrush is going to feather the edge. In other words, it's going to have a gradual edge. Choosing something hard, like a hard brush here, is going to leave uh, a hard edge. So I'll just demonstrate both. So this is this one. We've got our opacity on full. We've got our brush quite big. And as you can see, when I'm removing or erasing my work, that's then leaving quite a hard brush line. We could, of course, make the, the brush bigger. We could change that to, for example, the airbrush. Let me put my opacity up high this time and you'll see the difference this time is instead of that hard edge, we just get a slightly softer edge, which depending on how you want to do it, could be nicer, but that is your personal choice. If you want to do it a bit faster, then obviously one of the things that you can do is make the brush bigger. So two different methods of removing the background information. And the reason we're removing it because it, it we're not developing the background, we're developing the shape. So the background has no relevance in this instance. So let's not detract from the design work. Let's just remove it. If you wanted to, you could, of course, having cropped your other image with a mask, you could zoom in and maybe get rid of those hard edges if you wanted to. Let's just check, got that one, yes. Okay, and there we go. So let me just, just gently, we could feather those edges, but it's totally up to you. You might be happy with those edges.